All right, y'all. I got work to do in the garden. Uh, yeah, the hurricane wasn't so nice to my tomatoes. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do. So, what I basically just did to that one is, I cut all the top out of it. I'm thinking that suckers will grow. If not, I'll, um, I'll just chop the whole tomato down <laughs> if nothing happens, but that's the best I can do. I can't untangle all that without pretty much just damaging everything, so, and I'm not going to fool with it. I've been looking at it for two or three days, and it's kind of uh, depressing so time to move on this is uh, also a con of growing the way I grow <laughs> because um, if I had a sucker that and had them all one nice stem they might have got blown over but I wouldn't have to take such drastic measures but I'm not that worried about it because it's the end of the season and um, I mean I, I always grow tomatoes all the way until frost anyway but like I said, it's pretty much the end of the season. I've been harvesting um, pretty much every day uh, for a while now. So I don't consider this such a great loss. I consider the opportunity to kind of conduct this experiment to see what happens because I've never done this before. Um, so I kind of I kind of value that a little bit more than actually um, changing my growing method. All right. All right, well, two down, two to go. Ah. 
hate cicadas. They're so big and they're so stupid and they fly into you and feel like rocks. Um, try to talk y'all through this tale, what I'm doing. So, anything coming out the top of this, I'm cutting off because uh, the branches and whatnot were just so, you know that? Yeah, it had tomatoes on it, but um, this plant, I don't anticipate having to cut very much. Because it wasn't that big to begin with. A lot of tomatoes got damaged. Um, and P. Smith, don't worry. I told you I would give you seeds. And I was waiting for all of these damaged ones to get ripe. Um, and then the hurricane came. But I'm going to get you some seeds. Don't worry. Um, this isn't the only San Marzano that I have. But, yeah. actually kind of cool today, which is interesting. All these damaged tomatoes are cutting off. So, so many cicadas. I mean, it's ridiculous. I hear them just hitting all up above me. Um, this plant here, <laughs> this is the one I hate to see go. This is my black cherry, but say the best for last. Gotta go. Cause I can't leave it like that. Can't leave it like that. But it's a lot gonna come out of this plant. This is all one plant, y'all. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot gonna come out of that. Um, here's what it is. Oh, man. I don't even know where to start. Try to be more strategic with this black cherry. <laughs> Try is the key word. Um,
Oh, this thing is heavy, y'all. It hurt me to cut that off. <laughs> Y'all know I don't like killing stuff. I killed enough stuff in my gardening career. I know I done killed enough stuff. I'm thinking what I can do is some of these branches, I can lay them back on the other side and it'll help pull it up. It's so heavy on the side. And I think this is really what pulled everything down when the wind got the blowing. I'm almost positive. Then it don't help with that my cage is kind of messed up. Uh oh, y'all. Some of this might have some black cram in here. Yeah, I still got some black cram down in there. Black cream had grew all up and through. These green ones, don't worry, y'all. They, they're not going to waste. My neighbor loves green fried green tomatoes, so he's going to get them a nice little mess of fried green tomatoes. Well, green tomatoes so he can fry them. They're not very big, but they'll eat. Well, y'all, I was able to save a whole lot more of that black cherry than I thought. That's all my trash over there. I did lose quite a bit of tomatoes. Uh, all them going to my neighbor. I may pick through there and see if there's anything else. That tomato got damaged beyond even trying to savage. But, uh, this little stuff like this here. See, them tomatoes have been pretty. That it got bigger. Like I said, I, I be harvesting off this stuff every day. That, it don't look all that hot. This one look all right. So do this one. I washed them off. My neighbor have a field day with that, but y'all can see how much I took out of there, but y'all see that plant? <laughs> the other one got a nice haircut, but we still got some good clusters. We still got some stuff in there that's still ripening. I believe this is right on time. Right here, we're gonna eat this. Mm hmm. Delicious.
So I was able to save a lot more of that plant than I thought. But that was pretty quick. I had 20 minutes went faster than I thought. But I just want to take y'all along, show y'all how I'm going to try to save how I ended up savaging it. I thought I was going to have to cut it all down, but I was able to get the stand back up. I don't think we're going to have no more uh, high, high, high winds like that no more. Um, they cage a little compromised, but it's all good. Uh, it'll, it'll hold what I need it to hold, but let me show y'all. Y'all see that black cherry that's grown all the way across there. Look at that. Still putting on all that fruit. That's why I'm telling y'all, wait on your tomatoes. Wait on them. Even if they quit producing. Now, I will say this black cherry never did quit producing. Uh, I usually have tomatoes quit producing at the heat of the some of this with tomatoes are supposed to do please don't think your plant is dying it is not keep it alive uh and wait for it wait for it to start back when it cool off it'll start back y'all i think i said that last year and i think i guess i'm gonna have to keep saying it every year because i guess new gardeners they haven't found the old videos where i said that so wait on your plants wait on them uh, if you can keep them alive and keep them with that new pretty green growth like down in there all that all this new pretty stuff in here, they'll keep setting. You see what I'm saying? And when they cool off, if they stop setting, they'll go back to setting. People pull their tomatoes too too early, in my opinion. Now, if you if you grow different than me, and you got rows and rows and rows and rows of tomatoes, and you done harvested, you know, 40 pounds of tomatoes, that's a different story. But I ain't got but one of these black cherries, so I try to hold on. I, I usually only grow one or two variety of every variety that I grow and I, I try to hold on to them long as I can uh, but yeah I just want to take y'all along for that show y'all what I had to do after when stuff tow up all my stuff I still got more stuff to do so y'all stay tuned all right till next time see you guys later